In this video, we are looking at how to effectively use the functionality contained in the Maps tab of ForeFlight Mobile. You will find that you use the Maps tab in both the pre-flight planning and en route phases of your flight. This video will focus specifically on the functionality appropriate to the pre-flight planning phase. Let's start with how to select the map or chart you'd like to view. In the upper left corner, you will see that you can configure which map you're looking at and which overlay you'd like to select. The downward pointing triangle indicates a drop down menu and you can see that there are a number of options. Let's start by looking at the VFR sectional with one overlay. In the San Francisco Bay Area, we often watch the fog very closely, so for this example, let's use the satellite overlay. To put the menu away, simply tap the map. As you move across the top of the screen, the first icon will allow you to adjust the transparency of the overlay you've selected. Moving further across the top of the screen, you will see the button with two stars, which contains your favorite routes, more on that in a moment. Then you'll see the icon with the clock symbol, which contains your recent routes, then the search field, and finally the GPS locator button, which finds your current location and indicates it with a blue dot if you're stationary, and an airplane symbol if you are moving. When you tap the GPS locator button, it will center that blue image on the page. We are demonstrating the pre-flight planning phase of the Maps tab, so let's begin by putting in a route. To do that, simply tap the search field and enter airports, VORs, GPS coordinates, or routes as indicated in the example. For this example, let's imagine that we're going to fly from Palo Alto, California to South Lake Tahoe with a stop in Modesto to pick up a passenger. Here we enter KPAO as our starting point, move one space, then enter KMOD, then finally our destination KTVL. Immediately you will see the route displayed with the first leg, the active leg, in pink and the rest of the route in blue. Using two fingers, you can zoom in or out on the sectional. If there is a terminal chart available, as there is in the Bay Area, ForeFlight will automatically display it when you zoom in all the way. This makes navigating complex airspace like that of the San Francisco Bay much easier. Now that we have our route in place, let's use the overlays to look at weather and other points of interest along the route. In addition to radar and satellite, you can overlay TFRs, airmets, SIGMETs, flight rules, and much, much more. For this example, let's overlay the fuel prices. You will see the favorable prices in green, moderate pricing in yellow, and high prices in red. If there are no radar returns, TFRs, or any other factors that would prevent us from flying this route, we are all set to go. Moving across the top of the screen, you will now see the icon with the broken horizontal lines which indicates that there is a nav log ready to view. To view it, tap once and your nav log will drop down and show you courses, distances, fuel burns, if you've set up an aircraft preference, times en route, and more. You will also see a button to view recently cleared ATC routes, a reverse course button, a button to add this route to your favorites, and a button to send it, either to a printer or to share via email, Twitter, or send to your electronic logbook, Log10. To hide the nav log, tap the icon once again. Let's take it one step further. If you want to modify your route, it's easy. Let's imagine that you want to avoid the high fuel prices at South Lake Tahoe and make an additional stop here at Placerville where the fuel is more reasonable. Simply touch the blue line anywhere with one finger and hold for a moment. When you see a blue circle around your finger, you've got control of the line. You can bend it anywhere on the map. When you release, you will see the option to add the new coordinate or a number of known nearby locations. If you select Placerville, it will be added to your nav log and all of the values will be updated. If this is a route you'll be flying a lot, you might choose to make it a favorite and you will see that it is added to your favorites. Either way, it will show up here in your recents. In the next video, we will look at how to best use the features of the Maps tab once you're airborne and on your way. To learn more, please check out our blog or our website. As always, send us a quick email to team at foreflight.com with any questions or suggestions. From all of us at Team Foreflight, thank you.